Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea and I'm a senior at University of North Georgia and today I'm going to read Pick the Pug for You. Um, it is a favorite in our house because we have a pug named Stella and she's a lot like Pig. So, <laughs> so Pick the Pug is by Aaron Blevy and here we go. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got great some great toys there, poor Trevor would say. But Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both play together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. <laughs> No, they're mine. Didn't you hear? Only mine. Keep your paws off them. They're mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't, and I swear. <laughs> and with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a pile with a huff and a puff. Poor Trevor. Just saying no. <laughs> and once he had gathered them up in a pile... He howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig. Now you won't get my loot. It's mine, mine, mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see. The pile was wobbling. Oh, dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pugs cannot fly. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend. And they both play together while Pig is on the mend. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>